Hi everyone, thanks so much for tuning in. So, super stoked for today's video. We're going to be continuing on with part two of feeding video 145. So, the last part we left off was we featured shelves one, two, six, and eight. Eight was the most successful. The top shelf wasn't that much. So, today we're going to continue on. Grab back of cockcorn, your favorite drink, and uh, enjoy the show. And also guys, like I always say, be sure to check the video description. I listed all the inverts in order of appearance by their scientific name and common name if applicable. Okie dokie. So the very first tarantula we're going to feature in part two is my female Lampropelma valosiopes. Singapore blue. This is a female that I named Mara. I'm not sure if this is making out on camera. Get it. A bit close up, there she is. Um, you're going to see her in uh, the recent video that I recorded uh, no less than one or two days ago. Uh, we actually filmed uh, some of my tarantulas getting pictures uh, thanks to my good friend Isaiah. So you actually see how large uh, she is. Uh, she's about six inches right now and pretty cool. Next up we have a female Brachypelma bumgartini, which is the McCohen Orange Beauty. Nice. Very nice specimen. About three inches. All right, next one up is a unsexed Nandu tripepi, the giant blonde bird eater. Nice. We have one of her, his or her first super worms. Yeah, currently about, I would say a good two and a half inches, showing its adult colors. These are probably one of the largest of the Nandu species that gets up to having a eight inch leg span, so they're pretty huge. All right, here is good old boy George, uh, my male Megaphobema robustum, the Colombian giant red leg. Nice, I love that. Good old boy George. There you go, he's about, I would say, good three and a half, four inches. Sorry, George. Yeah. You suck. Oh, no. No way. She melted. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, this one here is my Zenithus species blue, the blue bloom bird eater from Colombia. I can feel those hairs. Uh, so anyway, uh, Chitose. Ooh, nice. Hot diggly dog nature, you scary. Yeah, look at her fresh colors. It's a shame that all those Zenithus species develop bald spots. But very cool. Uh, definitely, I confirmed the sex to be female. She is a bit leggy, but uh, that's to be expected with Zenithus. They're pretty leggy species and, and incredibly bulky too. Alright, I'm going to close this uh, for enclosure because I can feel those nasty type 3 hairs that they have. and. I'm starting to feel some itchy going on. <laughs> Alright, cool. Alright, here's another blue beauty that's uh, pretty mean in temperament. Uh, this is Stergopacopus lividum or lividus. Cobalt blue. There 
we go. Unsexed about two and a half, three inches, cobalt blue. Midden at the third, if it's female. All right, Brachypelma classy female. This is the Mexican pink named Petunia. Beautiful. Never refuses food. Ooh, juicy. Let's see, she'll take the second. Actually, you know what? I'll keep this one in for more feeding. Gorgeous. And you have to see what else is gorgeous. My B. Melia adult molted. Let's check her out. There she be. Look how pretty she is. Just freshly molted. Um, yeah, her skin's very soft, which means that uh, she's pretty fresh. I would say she's a good four and a half inches, pure adult. My god, is she pretty. Look at her red hair on the abdomen, black triangular carapace, fire red, knees. Ah, oh, she's amazing. Maybe I should call Isaiah to take pictures of her. Nice. Alright, we'll have to skip feeding on this one for a few days. Alright, this one here is a Nandu Tripepi female, the giant blonde bird eater. Spectacular. Just like my little small juvenile before her. Phonal Pelma Calcodes. Desert Blonde. Nice. Very cool uh, suspect female. Alright, this one here is a female Brachypalma Angustum, which is the Costa Rican red, and it's pretty obvious why uh, it's called that way because of the red abdomen. Very similar looking to, um, you know, the B. Vagans, B. Verdesi, and B. Kallenbergi complex. So we'll see if this one's going to eat. Very amazing. Alright, last year to our Kluge, immature male. Oh wow, look at that, caught it in midair. <laughs> so I have two other of these guys, both of them being female. I have one named Marissa, which is super large. She's around 9 inches. And uh, I have another one, Lucille, who's about a little bit less than half uh, the size. She's definitely bigger than him. And uh, he's pretty good. Up next, we got a very beautiful uh, Brachypelma. This one here is a Brachypelma Bomi cross Bumgartenai, which is called the Mexican Orange Beauty. Her name is Chimera. Whoopsie. Not what I wanted. Sorry, Chimera. There we go, third time's the charm. <laughs> there she be. Pretty looking tea. This is a, I would say, a good three and a half to four inch female. Definitely not going to breed her, just a showpiece of my collection. Originally got it from a pet store thinking that it was a real B. Bumgartenai, which, which kind of was a um, you know, pretty naive decision on my part. But still pretty cool. Okay, this one here is Brachypelma 
Eratum, the Mexican Flame Knee. A four inch female named Ada. Of course, from the Resident Evil 2 franchise. Definitely can tell where they got that common name, the Flame Knee, by the Flame Tip Knees. <laughs> Pretty OBV. <laughs> Definitely more uh, skittish and hair flicky than uh, its cousin, the Bihomori. Okay, this next one is a female Brachypelma Bomi. Uh, this is the Mexican fire leg, but here we go. Oh, boosh! I was gonna say bam. That's a uh, that's Rob C's catchphrase. There we go. She's about I would say a good three and a half inches. Here is a freshly molted female, a Phonopalma varici which is the Madrian red rump, but I kind of fail to see where the red rump is. <laughs> Look at that thread posture. Boosh! Here we go, very rare in Canada to get these uh, species, but there it is, I paid a hundred bucks for this one. It was an unsexed and checked her molt uh, before that and it was a confirmed female, so that sure is a plus. This one here is a suspect male, Phonopalma gabelli, which is the Chihuahuan Desert. From Texas. Yeah, I named him Gabriel uh, from the Priest from the Walking Dead series because of Gabelli. <laughs> yeah, sometimes my names are very original. <laughs> But many people like them, and I find it to be very good. Here's Mina, my female Nandu Colorado Velosis, the Brazilian black and white. It was the very first tarantula I got from my very first expo visit back in 2009. That was like 10 years ago. And I'm still going to do... Oh, there we go. <laughs> Snap. <laughs> yeah, she's about four and a half inches. She's pretty much considered to be an adult. Amazing. Alright, six-eyed sand spider, Sicarius thomasoides. Boosh! <laughs> there we go. It's a over. There we go. This is one of the most uh, venomous spiders in my collection. The six eyed sand spider. Alright, this one here, Gramastola potiri, the rose hair. That is probably one of the more gentle attacks I've seen from her yet. Alright, so the final T left to feature in shelf number three. My Rosea red phase wasn't interested in eating, but uh, that's to be expected with uh, rose hairs. So yeah, now you're looking at a very beautiful female. Uh, Monocentropus balfouri, which is the Socotra Island blue-legged baboon. The absolute beast of a tarantula from Africa. And Lily did an amazing job. I got this particular spider from T Soy Spiders back in 2012, so I've had her for close to six years. And she's doing amazing. One of my best looking species, next to my P. Metallica and, of course, the H. Pulker piece. Isn't that right? 
Hey Lulas. Yeah. So pretty much I'm babysitting my brother's dog Lola. She's a five year old Yorkshire Schnauzer mix. Hey. And she just loves me. Hey. You smell spiders, don't you? Lola, sit. Sit. High five. Give me a high five. There we go. You can see she's definitely young. Alright guys, so I have to charge my battery. And next shelf we'll be doing is these. This shelf here and this one. And the last part I'm going to feature all the arboreals and the final two shelves. So let me charge the battery and away we go. Okay, now starting shelf number seven. My female Brachypelma albiceps wasn't interested in eating, so we're gonna try to feature my female Vermitipus species green, the Dominican Republic green bird eater. Nice. All right, let's check out the specimen. Here it is. Very, very cool. This one here is a confirmed female, Brachypelma smithy, formerly Brachypelma anatha, the Mexican orange knee. Oosh. There she be. Looking pretty cool. Alright, unfortunately this is the only scorpion I'm going to feature in this particular feeding video. None of my three weren't interested in eating. Well, let's try to feed this one. Uh, this is my mature, I suspect, female. Um, Heteromateris spinifer, which is the Asian forest scorpion, already full grown. Hmm. Took it like a champ. There we go, nice. Now if only it would stop to chomp it and oh, I should let go. Okay, take two. Yeah, she's got a nice stinger. Got a new for her. Yeah, if she was interested, she would have taken it. Oh well, I guess I'll leave it into the video. Just to show you guys what a nice looking uh, Asian forest scorpion looks like. I would say this is about five inches. Oh well. No luck on the scorpions. That's a shame. Alright, this one here is a Vitellius perineensis, which is the Argentinian brown bird eater. It's a four inch female named Veronica. What a great lass. Not a problem with her, and she's probably the most staple in my feeding videos. You practically see her almost every time I record. She's a great eater and I love her. Alright, this little nice tea. The Christmas tree is starting to become barely visible now. So this is a juvenile unsexed uh, Panthibedius vespertinus, which is the red 
Bloom Bird Eater. Let's see how it attacks a super. Not a problem. Uh, yeah, I'm looking at a female. At least by ventral. I can't really confirm by molt. But very cool. Sorry, girl. <laughs> yeah, that's a very happy pantho. Here's Annette, my suspect female Brachypalma Vagans, Mexican Red Rump. There we go. Says no to supers. Here's my young B Vagans, Mexican Red Rump, usually a good eater. <laughs> wow. Six seconds flat. That's a nice record. One of the freebies I got from Tarantula Canada a little over two years ago. Going quite nicely. Purple Starburst Bird Eater. Uh, this is Panthabedius species Macala. Feisty. That's a feisty eater. Yep. Nice Christmas tree pattern on the admin, which unfortunately goes away with age. Alright, this is the last tea I'm going to feature in Shelf 7. My chicken spider wasn't interested in eating. Uh, this one here is the Pink Bloom Bird Eater, Pamphibedius species Platyoma. And this one I believe to be a suspect male. And the way I suggest it's a suspect male because of uh, the colors. If you notice that the colors on this particular specimen is starting to show a pink coloration uh, which is true for males around this age. Uh, males are absolutely gorgeous. Uh, they sport a very dark purple slash pink color giving the common name. Females on the other hand are very drabby. Uh, they will appear brown <laughs> and never look ugly. Hey, why do you flick hairs at me when I'm, t when I'm giving you a compliment? All right, so uh, that is for shelf number seven. I'm gonna go and feature number four. All right, Tapinikinius rasti. This is the Union Island tree spider. It has like a Jamaican feel to it. Careful, this tarantula is Jamaican me crazy. Yeah, man. Beautiful. There she be. Alright, this one here is Pisotheria hanamabila simica, the Rama Swarm ornamental, uh, recently molted. She hungry. He or she, hopefully it's female. Uh, where did the cricket go? Boosh! Grabbed it. Let's get a look at this one. Very pretty. Alright, nice size female, 
Lassiodora parahybana, salmon pink bird eater. This one goes crazy. <clears throat> Oosh. There we go, not a problem for Daniela. It's about a five inch female. Gramistola poteri, this is the rose hair. This is Talia. There we go. Nice gentle female. This one here is Alberto. He is my mature male Brachypelma albiceps, the Mexican gold red rump. Unfortunately, my female was not featured in this video because she wasn't interested in feeding. So let's see if we can try to get the guy to eat. Usually he takes food without a problem. You can see his hooks. He's a prime boy. Nice. Yeah. He's an old man now, but still quite prime. Here's his pedipops all swelled up. This is where he stores the sperm. Here's another Gramistola poteri, the rose hair. I got a bunch of these guys, but they're all very good eaters. This is the one I got from my friend Michael. Very good eater. This one here is a female Chromatopelma cyanopubescens, green bottle blue or GBB for short. Boosh! Wow! Alright, let's give another one. See if she's hungry for another one. This is one of the prettiest tarantulas in the hobby and definitely a must-have to get one. Super easy to care for and if you are a very big fan of heavy webbers, this is the one to go to. This is an excellent showpiece and display tarantula. Not particularly defensive but they are skittish and they do like to flick hairs. I've seen some of them throw threat postures, but not as bad. Oh well. She'll find the next one. And she a beaut. Alright, this is the second to last tarantula I'll feature in part two of the feeding video. Okay, this one here is my mature female. Orphanaceus philippinus, which is the Filipino orange. And aren't you glad? <laughs> that was an impressive attack. Sweet. Love it. Alright, last one is Daisy, my big L parahibana female. Let's go get her. And there's Daisy. Last one for the part two. Last Star Power Hibana, Salmon Pink Bird Eater. Watch this. Kablooey. Let's see that again. <laughs> Amazing Montrudel. Short the other one. There we go. She usually loves the second one. Beautiful. And that's about it, everyone. So hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for part three. 
We're going to feature shells 5, 9, and 10. Uh, this time I'll go in alphabetical order. We have mm, average about 34 tarantulas in all to feed, but we'll see which ones uh, we'll uh, eat on camera. Alright guys, so thank you for watching. Don't forget to rate, subscribe, and comment, and we'll, I'll see you in the next vid.